Here comes a storm What's going on you guys, it's D-Machine and I'm bringing you a guide video today on Rep Paladin Burst. Now I haven't made a video about Rep Paladin Burst since quite some time and I feel like there's a lot of variables that people are kind of just overlooking. Um, and I just wanted to make a quick updated guide video uh, so I can just shine some light on some things. So when I start my burst out, what I like to do is I get, get my Guardian of Ancient Kings out First. That's the very first button I press and the reason why is because there's quite a bit of time that I need to ramp up my stacks of ancient power to increase my damage. So uh, I need 12 stacks in total and you have plenty of time after you reach 12 stacks so uh, it's not it shouldn't be a problem to reach 12 stacks before you actually use your full burst but if you're rushed in arena it's definitely situational. Uh, and using more like less than 12 stacks to start your burst isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. So first thing you do is you get your guardian out and get some stacks rolling and then the next thing you want to do while you're gaining stacks is to get a three holy power inquisition active so you get the most out of your holy power. And then from there I wait for my surge of victory. My surge of victory is a buff that I get from my, uh, my on or my proc trinket, my prideful gladiators insignia of victory. Um, when I have this proc and I have 12 stacks of my guardian and inquisition is active that's when I use my one-shot macro, which my one-shot macro is Avenging Wrath, Holy Avenger, and then last but not least, my Gladiator Scaled Gauntlets. And the reason why um, um, Gladiator Scaled Gauntlets is a part of that macro is because I have Engineering, and I have an on use uh, on my uh, on my hands to increase my da my strength by 1,920 for 10 seconds. So then, when I with my one-shot macro up, with my scaled gauntlets active, my proc trinket active, my inquisition active, 12 stacks of guardian, that's my, when I first use execution sentence. So with execution sentence falling, with my full cooldowns up, even if I get CC'd, I'm going to be doing a really good amount of damage, even being feared or polyed over and over, just because execution sentence is doing so much damage, because it's a damage over time, right? And then uh, my priorities are definitely going to be using three holy power towards Templar's Verdict, obviously. Um, but the, my favorite generator for holy power is going to be Judgment. Because it slows down my target, it speeds me up, and it gives me Selfless Healer procs. Now, Selfless Healer is really good with your cooldowns up. If you have a three stack of Selfless Healer going, and you off heal with your cooldowns up, it's going to heal for a lot, guys. Sometimes I even use my offensive cooldowns to be able to off heal my partners to prevent them from using their big defensive cooldowns. So just take that into consideration when you're bursting. Keep your awareness up when bursting and uh, have fun with it. Do some ridiculous rep paladin damage. Show us that. Show the people that we're still viable. All right, guys. And uh, that's my guide video today. I hope you help. I hope this helped you at all. And if it did help you, make sure to subscribe. Subscribing really supports me. And also follow my Twitter at uh, dmachinewow. And uh, I will also be live streaming pretty soon. I, I want to get live streams in more often, but I feel like my computer just can't handle it. But I just bought a new processor. It's an i7. And I'm buying a new motherboard soon, so I'll be streaming a lot more because my computer will finally be able to handle it. So stay tuned for that, guys, and follow my stream at twitch.tv slash dmachine52, and I will see you there. Dmachine, blast off.